boy, you just sound like you got a lot of anger inside of you. And all, all I did, Victor, was give you the words of God. You, you say, I manipulate the Bible. I take it literally. And that's what God says. He said our works are, is the best works that we have is nothing but a filthy rag. So I, I'm going to take God with what he says. He wrote this. This is our communication between us and him proving we are not God. This, you just read it, and it shows we're sinful. He is holy. So that right there shows a big difference. And, and so I just encourage you, Victor, to look unto Jesus, your Savior, and my Savior, and say, Lord, I, maybe I have been deceived, and, and, and I want to know the truth. So with that, I would like to go back, Mike, to the original lie and, and, and maybe expound a little bit on what we were talking about in this New Age movement and this I Am God move, movement. This is nothing new. And God says there's nothing new under the sun. This goes back to the original lie that Satan did with devil. The first thing God did with Eve, he said, But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. That's the command he gave Adam and Eve. Now the devil comes in and says to her immediately, But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat of it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. For God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. See, that lie is right at the very beginning. And he's been doing that, Mike, all, up until today. And he's going to continue to do that, convincing us. Believes he's a God. Uh, John Travolta, Mormonism, so many other things. I think we have a call. Uh, Joe, is that you? Believes he's a God. Uh, John Travolta, Mormonism, so many other things. I think we have a call. Uh, Joe, is that you on the line? Yeah, it is. How you doing? We're good. I, I just wanted to call and just tell you I like your guys' show. I've watched it several times now, and you guys talk about good stuff. And uh, that guy that just was on the line before me was an idiot. <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to talk bad about people, but he didn't know what he was talking about, you know? Well, he's he's embraced the deception, hasn't he? Yeah, pretty much. The whole world has. I mean, I don't know how much longer we're all going to be here. You know, I just hope Jesus returns soon to take care of business. You know what I mean? Well, you know, he 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 might be having a demon and and so deceived. I mean, like I mentioned just before you got on, Tom Cruise in Scientology, they teach that all of us are gods who were so bored where we were before that we made up these lifetimes that, w that we're in now. And we mm -hmm. need to remember and get clear. So... He's bought into the same thing, you know, and so, you know, I hesitate calling anybody an idiot. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't do that. Yeah. But. So we apologize to Victor, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, Victor. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's, you, it's Are you guys Go aware ahead. of uh, the, the Bible code in the Old Testament, of the, the Torah? I've heard about it. I don't trust it because I've seen other scientists say that they can um, come up with any type of code with letters. So, you know, I, I look at what God's given clearly, Joe, is the prophecies, they're all everything's falling into place. A hundred, a hundred percent accurately, and, and yeah, there's not a single lie in the Bible. That's right. You know? and and that's where the faith comes in. You either believe it's from God or it's not. Mm -hmm. Joe, how did you become a Christian? Um, I started going to Portland Four Square Church back when I was about 12 years old because my dad, he's been a strong Christian for about 25 years now, and I got saved back then. You know, and that was like in 1980. 83, 82, right in there. Wow. And, uh, you know, I've had a couple periods of my life where I've kind of went astray for a while, but I'm, I'm back and focused again. So is it, Isn't it great that God is faithful? <laughs> yes, it is. When we are faithless, He is faithful. He cannot deny Himself. That's why it's so important to have Jesus in your heart, because when we do run astray, God will always bring us back to Himself. Yep. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Yeah, and I like, I mean, what... When I read the Bible every day, I mean, it, it's like it's almost like food. It gives me strength. You know what I mean? Yeah, and we, you know what? We notice it more when we don't read the Bible. Yeah, that's when I start. That's when I'll start, you know, going back to my old ways and stuff. Yes, and we're we're all we all fall into that, Joe. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're so thankful that He is faithful, and He is just, and His covenant will always remain. 
no matter which how obstinate we are and and stubborn and stiff-necked all those adjectives there's god um pulling his children those who believe in him and his son pulling us back to his righteousness mm -hmm. it's it's again i i can't talk enough about how great he is and what he's done for you and for me and to those that just said you know what i want to know the truth yep and he says okay hello how you doing <laughs> sit down i'm going to show you something unique and different from the world I'm going to show you the truth where the devil is going to take my truth and twist it and deceive. Yep. Well, Joe, thank you for thank calling. Thank you, you guys, and I'll, be, I'll call you next time I'm watching. Hey, hey, Joe, we're going to be off the last two weeks of this month, the first two weeks of July. Well, actually, for five weeks is three in between. We're going to be on the last two Saturdays, Jay, of July, July the last two Saturdays of August, live. We're going to have some other programs, and we're going to show more of this film not next week or the week after possibly, but we'll, we'll have it on. Um, sections that we haven't shown before, it's pretty fascinating. So we're gonna show some new stuff, some good old stuff. We're gonna be here, but we won't be live until the last two weeks of July, last two weeks, weeks of August, August, last two of September, and then maybe we'll go back to a full schedule in October, we'll see. All right, you guys, thank well, you, you're Joe. doing a good job. Thank Thanks. you, thank, thank you. you. Bye. Um, we've got another Joe on the line, is that right? Hello? Hello. Hi. What would you like to share with us? Well, I'm a little bit curious why you call yourselves truth seekers when you appear to believe that you pretty much have a firm truth already. Good, good question. Um, we don't know everything, and uh, we're open to different... The basics, we believe, are absolutely there, Jesus. But hey, if you can prove us wrong... So you think God's a dead Jew? Huh? He's a good Jew? Yeah, I guess. Is you, is there, do you have a problem with that? Well, yeah, frankly. What is that problem? Well, I uh, think that the world is a little bit larger than what your view of the world allows. Mm -hmm. I uh, think that uh, the Christian view is so incredibly limited. Uh, it, it's really sad to see people sink a faith and a belief into something that's so small. Well, Joe, let me share with you. Uh, I shared your viewpoints for a long time. I became an agnostic at the age of 12 and a half. Agnostic? No, 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 sir. I'm not agnostic. I have the truth. Okay. Uh, and, uh, what, sure, what is What it? is that truth? <laughs> how much are you willing to pay for that truth? How, how many years are you willing to devote to study to be able to understand it? Well, uh, what, what is your well, evidence? Tr of, truth is not something that can be stated in simple words, my friend. Uh, okay, then head us in the right direction. Um, okay, the right direction? Stop reading books written by men hoping to find truth in it. Okay, let me, let me just jump in. in let, me on paper. let me just jump in there. We're going to um, show this next section of film in a moment, Joe. Um, but no one can tell the future 100% accurately. No I, one can tell the future at all. My friend, there's no such thing as prophecy, please. Yeah, okay. Could you turn Joe? Thanks for calling, Joe. And we're going to turn you off because, you know, you're where you want to be. And that's okay. You know, Jesus said, straight is the way and narrow the path. You're talking about something wide. I think from my experience, as I started to say, I was, became an agnostic at 12 and a half, Jay, and, and didn't believe there was a God and um, wanted to do my own thing. And, and it was later on that I started searching through psychology, philosophy, Eastern religion, broad path, do whatever you want, mm -hmm. reincarnate as much as you want, whatever. But Jesus tells the future 100% accurately. The prophets in this book tell the future 100% accurately. And if, if, if for some reason you don't want truth, God says he's going to send strong delusion in the latter days to those who do, do not have the love of the truth in them. And Jesus said, straight is the way and narrow the path. And few there be that find. And I pray that you, Joe, would open up that Bible and ask God to show you if it's true and really seek him with all your heart, not just part of it. That's the only way you're going to find him, and I hope you do. And I, I, we have nothing more to say than that. Um, there sure is prophecy, and you sure can put things succinctly into words. Jesus did all the time. Jay, you going to say something? Well, I was going to read about the Satan and the coming lawless one who deceives. And, and that's a um, there's power in, if you look up that Greek, there's power in that deception. He has power to deceive. And then the and when you embrace that deception, then then the Lord will turn you over 